Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Big Rich X. Uh, this is Old Dominion versus St. Clair. This is Search and Destroy. We were unable to get the hard point due to some technical difficulties, but we're here now. Peace is getting a few pieces, making a three piece to get things started off for St. Clair on the right foot. Looking for the ace, but a simple lot taking them. But St. Clair grabbing the round either way. A incredible start for St. Clair after the three piece from pieces, piecing up this old Dominion squad with factions taking down simple lot with some beautiful shots straight to the behind. Gotta watch your flank right there. But a, uh, a solid, solid game thus far, ladies and gentlemen. And just for y'all watching at home, St. Clair was able to walk away with the W in hard point as well. So they are currently up 1-0 in the series, as well as 1-0 in the search and destroy as we get started for round two. Old Dominion looking to bounce back and just find a way to get back in this matchup. I don't know the final score of that hard point, but when you start off, Dropping the first round, it's not a good sight. Young Zay here holding. Smoke's going out. Can't see him. That concealment perfectly placed. Young Zay doesn't realize they're right in front of him, but that smoke's clearing out. Faction's got to be careful. Young Zay going to take him, but they get to slow him down. Pieces, got to be careful. Zay looking for that finish. Drop to 33 HP. The peak out the need. Rare taking that kill, making it a 3v2 as GMG takes down Boppy HD in high definition. Simple lot with the flank. It's a 2v2 situation. This thing's quiet down just a tad. See if St. Clair can stay up. Rotating, coming in from the stairs. Rare distracting. Simple lot here. Pushing up. Simple lot, gotta be careful. Check their corners, but can't get them. Rare taking it to them. It's a 2v1. Love. Find a no love loss between these two squads. Will not have time to defuse. Trying to just stay alive and not give them extra streaks. The KD is still broken in this game as Pieces goes in to clean up on Chicken Coops. Just a solid job from St. Clair, ladies and gentlemen, as they continue here. Pieces, Pieces excuse me, dropping in from the heavens into the market square. Taking down their opponent. Pieces is having an incredible game thus far. As we continue here, I am hoping that Activision soon gets a quick patch in as the KD is still broken, unfortunately. And as far as I know, the control is also still glitched, sadly, in the Codcaster section. Poppy with the bomb rotating up. Be pushed through mid. Old Dominion just to find some wiggle room. Rare going down. Nice shots from Simple Lot. As they get the first blood and have the numbers game here, they just got to be careful. Just make sure that they are safe on their approach. The St. Clair team is so good at getting set up on objective. Poppy taking down GMG and now it's going to be four. Ooh, poor timing from factions. Could not finish the kills. It's all up to Pieces, who has been absolutely dominant. He's got a three-piece earlier, looking for an ace now. Not taking the shots on Poppy. He tries to get the two-piece, but Young Zay taking him down. Solid, solid shots from Old Dominion. And Zay here holding on the barrel. Pieces. Taken out a little too far and was able, unable to turn and burn on Young Zay quickly enough to get the two piece, unfortunately, for St. Clair. But a solid matchup. Solid matchup thus far. I know the Miami Major's coming up, so I really hope they patch things up soon. You do not want to be running a Major with, you know, a broken, a broken Codcaster, at least from my perspective. That just be incredibly frustrating as we get ready for round four. Shots already coming in. Love holding up top on the clock tower. Beautiful shots from factions winning that gunfight. Was completely exposed on the staircase, but is able to win out. Poppy evening things up. Zay rotating up with simple lot as pieces and company hold. Zay grabbing factions. It's 2v3. Simple lot taking down rare, and it's all up to pieces. Luckily, tucked away in this back corner, has eyes on bomb. Just gotta be careful not to get too tunnel visioned. Just gotta be aware of Poppy and Young. 
as they rotate up top. Pieces gets caught out. Getting pushed now. Trying to stay up. Engage the regen. But here comes Old Dominion. Pushing up. There's one. Could not get the two. And Bobby HD clutching up and tying things up for Old Dominion. Solid round from Old Dominion as they bounce back in a big way. Able to keep things interesting at two rounds apiece. Old Dominion playing that perfectly on the rotations, just whittling down this St. Clair squad. One by one, they fell. And Old Dominion bouncing back with their gunfight engagements. Just impressive from Simp and Zay. Again, I wish the KDs were proper so that I know exactly what's going on. Love here on the scoreboard is 0-1, but it's actually 0 for 3, it looks like. If that is to be trusted, anyways. As it's a hard push on defense towards the Bravo side. St. Clair tries to get towards Alpha, it seems. But quick engagements through mid and on the outside, not going in the favor of Old Dominion. Simple lot going for the push. Factions, got to be careful here. A solid play from Factions, able to rotate out and not ego chow that repeat. Simple lot by Death Alley. This factions rotates through Hotel. Young Zay going down as Simple lot takes down pieces. Now, Simple lot in a 1v2 situation. Not looking too good, but I've seen more stressful situations in in pubs. So I think Simple lot still has a chance here. GMG and factions, though, you do not want to mess with. They are dangerous in clutch mode as factions is lurking just above gmg beginning to rotate bomb goes down simple lot has to rotate back cafe gonna play this head glitch Tries to get shots coming from gmg just like that ladies and gentlemen Ooh, good morning gamers getting it done factions just staring off into the middle distance it looks like as their teammate gets the defuse and st Clair. Bounces back into the W column. Takes a 3-2 lead. See if they can maintain this momentum. Old Dominion not making it easy on them, that's for sure. I've always enjoyed Karachi as a map. Just, you know, shout out to uh, Susano for its verticality. Just offers uh, a bit more of a dynamic map than what some players might be used to. Appreciate that. A lot of highs and lows. You play underneath hotel and its multiple floors as well as the mid lane. As it's a hard push alpha from both sides, we'll see how it fares. Simple lot holding in the bus as love strikes first. Love taking down pieces, shattering in my heart into a thousand pieces. Rotating up now. Boppy with the drop shot. Love taking down GMG. Rare in a 1v2 now. Ooh, the drop shot from Old Dominion. Tying things up once again. Round for round, punch for punch. These teams are giving us a truly an incredible fight. Love here. Going 4 for 4 thus far and clutching up big time, not letting Rare escape. Can be, can be quite tough in those situations. I've been in many a 1v, however many. And... It is no simple task. As we get a proper look at the kill kill death ratios, it's still pieces lead in the lobby, but simple lot and company more evenly spread, I should say. The old Dominion has the team advantage. St. Clair has that X factor in pieces who could still pop off in any given round. Shots coming, young Zay able to rotate. Alive. Getting pushed though. Poppy and Zay combining for a solid two piece opener for our Old Dominion. And now, GMG grabbing one. Trying to hold. Utilize these stairs and head glitch. Oh, perfect placement from Poppy as pieces is left to pick up the pieces of their squad. Tries to get the shots on bomb, but quickly taken out. And Old Dominion have their first lead of the matchup. At 4 3, ladies and gentlemen. It is 4 3, not 4 0. Love with the shots. Perfectly placed right on the heart and head of pieces. Woo! Yeah, there we go. The scoreboard has been adjusted properly now. 4-3, ladies and gentlemen. 
again. St. Clair had the initial 2-0 advantage, but Old Dominion bouncing back in a big way and looking to carry it. They've won two in a row thus far. Could take it to match point here if they're able to continue with their strong, strong second half of this. Rotate and say, gonna be peppering in shots, just trying to find something, but rare take them down. Love gets the nade in though, and is able to get straight. GMG picked up by Love. Love on a six streak, I believe, but finally taken down. I believe from that cruise missile, despite the KD error. As Peace is once again left all alone in a 1v2, has to rotate out. Clock Tower dropped to just 6 HP, trying to stay alive as Zipalot pushes. Perfectly timed from Old Dominion as they keep this one interesting and force it to a 5-3. Now winning three in a row. Momentum all on Old Dominion's side with a cruise missile in their back pocket. Thanks to love. Pieces was getting rotated on from Poppy and Simp. There was very little chance to clutch that to get the turn to burn. Already dropped to six HP. I mean, it would take it would have taken a miracle for St. Clair to come out with the W in that round. As we get ready for a pivotal round nine, St. Clair is going to need a big swing and a hit to get this one done. Do not want to strike out here. Want to take that 2-0 series lead and really put the pressure on Old Dominion for the control matchup. We get things underway. GMG rotating in through mid. Grabs love, but Poppy is there with the trade factions. Trying to take him down and does factions with a solid two-piece. Now 3v2. St. Clair bouncing back thus far in the matchup. We'll see if Old Dominion can adjust mid-round to the numbers game. Not being in their favor, but factions with the three-piece. And now factions knocking on the door of an ace. Looking to take it. Factions gets caught out in the street. Raining all over that parade. Factions going down as simple lot. Peppers in some beautiful shots from the high ground, but unable to secure that kill in the 1v2. Rare and pieces. It's got to really just play smart, play it safe. Don't get too overly aggressive on the objectives. Simp picks up the bomb. Now rotating in through convenience. Now back out. Heard somebody up top. Alexa Sun, but doesn't get any hits. Rare's got to notice that that sun came. Simplot going down. Beautifully timed from St. Clair. That's tough placement for that stun. I think that stun's just a little higher. And we don't see Simplot go for the plant here. They get that information that Rare's up top and don't risk it. But time was running out. Wasn't looking good. It's 5-4. St. Clair's still in this one, but Old Dominion looking to put the final nail in the coffin if they can. We get round 10 underway. It's anybody's game at this point, really, ladies and gentlemen. It's a coin toss, as it were, of a round. Once again, St. Clair now on the attack. It's going to elect to push through mid, it seems. So I believe they're going to try to rotate into alpha. Got to be careful here. On the rotation, Poppy shoots a little too early and gets caught out. That is some poor time. He's in a lot. Rotating in from the sticks, trying to find that kill, but just hit mark for City. No hit kill on the cruise missile. GMG with the headshot, and it is an absolute disaster for Old Dominion right now. They had the match point. They had it locked away, and unfortunately, it's St. Clair just tearing them to pieces. Pieces with that final kill. Pun fully intended as Love tries to be the hero here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, in a 1v4, a nigh impossible clutch type situation with the rest of St. Clair getting stacked up. They hear him peeking through doors and factions threaten the needle through the bus window. St. Clair tying things up for what is sure to be an intense round 11. Factions here with the rival nine no less at SMG stopping power. Able to just perfectly thread the needle through those bus windows. He saw a few of those bullets get caught on the window frame. So getting that shot off so precisely, especially with especially with the SMG, it's pretty impressive. It's pretty cool. I'll give him that. It was a cool kill. Round 11, ladies and gentlemen. The clock is about to strike midnight, and I feel like Cinderella without her glass slipper. This is not, not the situation you want to be in. Hard push towards Alpha once again. Simple lot turns their back at the last second, but it's Poppy picking up the first one. 
Simplot, gotta be careful here. Simplot taking down Rare, and it's a 2v4. St. Clair with a disaster push towards Alpha. GMG caught out in mid as factions rotate. Trying to find something. Grabs love. Young Zay spotted out. GMG in a tough spot. has got to rotate away. It's definitely going to get called out there. GMG now pushing up towards Bravo. Trying to assist. Dropping in perfectly, but the timing. Young Zay able to rotate away. Now climbing up. GMG might be able to catch him on the ladder, but no, just barely missing. Can Factions pick up the kill? They do. It's a 2v2. Factions and GMG trying to clutch up big. They've evened the odds now. Holding. Simple lot, though. Rotating up top. GMG. Gotta be careful here. GMG picking up the kill. It's a 2v1 and all up to Boppy HD. GMG and Factions have gone absolutely massive for this St. Clair squad. If they can clutch this 2v4, it'd be absolutely impressive. They have free plant on Alpha as Poppy has to rotate all the way from Bravo. Trying to sneak in and get that kill and does. It's a 1v1. Poppy with the shots on Factions. They're able to get the bomb down, but GMG with the placement. St. Clair wins it. That is Call of Duty timing at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. GMG. Good morning, gamers, ladies and gentlemen. With the MCW sliding in perfectly, Poppy HD gets reduced down to 720p. There's no HD here, ladies and gentlemen. St. Clair with an absolutely impressive nail-biting round 11W. As we get ready for control, it should be an exciting matchup. from St. Clair. Key, can you hear me? Gentlemen, St. Clair currently up 2-0 in the series and looking to take it 3-0 on control. We'll see if we can do it here. It looks like the Codcaster has been fixed for control, thankfully. Love and Simple Lot with a solid for Old Dominion to bounce back. They're keeping lives relatively even on the attack as they try to break into Alpha. St. Clair struggling to defend both objectives, surprisingly enough. As it's a bit of a split push for the whole Dominion. They need to clear that Alpha Point ASAP, though. So we see factions holding out on the outside of Bravo, holding the line. Factions with a big two piece. As Poppy HD is left all alone on Alpha, looking for the kills. Gets a two piece. Poppy HD bouncing back in a big way. Must have heard me through the grapevine. On a four streak right now and looking for some more. Trying to hold as Rare rotates in. Rare with a massive two piece. Poppy takes down Rare, but Pieces is there to clean up the scraps of Old Dominion. A solid retake from St. Clair behind Rare's incredible start. As Poppy and company begin their rotation back to Bravo, lives again remain even, surprisingly enough. Poppy having an incredible game thus far at 6 for 2. Now rotating back to Alpha. It's wide open. St. Clair is trying to rotate to Bravo. 
away and love scoring a two piece gmg and factions bouncing right back though factions takes down poppy and prevents that alpha push after the b capture b has not been fully capped by the way gmg was trying to clear at least some of that progress as they do finally secure b to get another minute on the clock old dominion with just a slight advantage but this could come down to just the gunfights as it's not looking too good for Old Dominion as it lights up red for St. Clair in the kill feed. Simplot able to break it up, but it's double headshots for St. Clair once again. Triple headshots, excuse me, as they try to spawn trap here in Palace. They're doing a beautiful job thus far. Get them locked in the office. You are staying late tonight. Zay going down pieces, just piecing them up left, right, and center. Does not realize they're getting rotated on from Simple Lot. Rotating in and will not be able to secure that cruise missile, but with just five lives remaining, can they make the long trek all the way to Alpha? Where are you getting picked up on their rotations with GMG looking to disrupt any spawns? Possibly get a flank here. Back holding in mid. Cannot get the shots on Simple Lot, but they're down to the last four lives. Simple Lot with a big two piece. And here comes the rotation from Poppy. Simple lot going absolutely massive as Zay clears out rare. It's a team wipe and Old Dominion gonna three stack on Alpha. Oh, an absolute disaster for St. Clair right now. As they three stack, it's all up to rare to try to get in there. They do contest, but can they get it? No, Old Dominion with an incredible comeback with just four lives remaining. They were somehow able to get it. Simple lot went absolutely God mode at the end of that with a three piece in and around rug rotating up to that objective. Just incredible. Just an incredible job from Simple Lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you see there, the five streak looking to secure a cruise missile potentially with the opening salvos of the round. See if it bears any fruit for Old Dominion as it's a four stack towards B. Completely uncontested from Old Dominion. You see Love trying to get there, but again, it's just all stacked up on Bravo. Going for that quick capture. Old Dominion was expecting that A push, but I think they get caught out and they four stack on B. And just like that, Bravo's captured with 220 left on the clock. No one going down on St. Clair just yet, but it's bound to change. Poppy and Love making sure they keep the lives even, at least for now, as GMG in pieces again. These teams are going round and round thus far. Oh, GMG able to win out the gunfight, and that's three down for Old Dominion. So GMG and company should get set up exceptionally well for a strong A push. We'll see if they can take advantage of it as Poppy is able to take down GMG. And St. Clair gets caught out in the hotel. Not the ideal push they were looking for. Smackshins weaken, drop to about 40. Gotta check your corners, Poppy. Factions popping off, but immediately rotating into Young Zay. Posted up on the objective. And they have a chance to rotate up. Simple Lot cannot prevent the push as they get two on. Need to get a trophy system down. They do. Simple Lot rotating in, and Poppy with the two piece. Oh my goodness. Old Dominion just retaking that objective far too easily. If you ask this commentator, ladies and gentlemen, factions looking for some multi kills but can't secure. Sorry. Oh, tough, 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 tough round right there of fights for St. Clair. Factions couldn't secure the multi kill, was able to secure one kill. That's where I was getting a little mixed up as Beasts rotates in. Love, just no sweat on their brow as they are locked in on this objective. Even things relatively even in lives they're winning their gunfights but they just can't get a committed team wipe they are unable to push towards alpha might just have to go four lives remaining to balance things out but again tipped in this favor of the opinion for now poppy with a nice turn and burn on factions as they continue here trying to take a 2-0 lead in control and force a game four Rotating in, factions taking them down. Love holding on Alpha still. 14 to 13 in lives. Looks to be about two, three down. They begin to rotate. Poppy grab one. Rare gets on objective. Young Zay pushing though. Woo! Factions is there. Poppy taking them down. Poppy 
going down. Quick trades happening in and around objective with Old Dominion taking the advantage thus far. And it looks like they have the round as it is six seconds remaining. Ladies and gentlemen, just seven lives on St. Clair's side. They're not going to be able to get there in time. Old Dominion with a 2-0 lead. Solid stuff from Old Dominion able to bounce back after some crushing, crushing losses to In Search and Destroy and the hard point. But hopefully, we get ourselves a game four and find ourselves on a Rio hard point. Should be a fun matchup either way. Excuse me. My co-caster Rarity was unable to join me due to some internet issues, so I have to choose my moments wisely to go with my cool and refreshing beverage. As it's a hard push alpha. Simple lot in love with a big two piece as Old Dominion looks to take over Alpha early. They get a three piece GMG just meleeing a TV for some reason. When you're down 2-0, maybe stop watching the cartoons and focus up, GMG. I'm just saying. Just me. Oh no, it's an absolute massacre at the station. Zay with a TK on love, but it don't matter. In fact, that TK was the first death of Old Dominion. They took Alpha without losing a single life except to a TK, which is incredibly impressive. Shout out to Old Dominion with Simplot on an H streak. Looking for the nine, finally going down. That is the first actual kill for St. Clair. The other one was a TK. But is Old Dominion about to win this control with only two lives lost? One of them a TK? Make it three factions and GMG able to get in there, but it's not looking good. Pieces trying to contest, trying to do something, but getting taken down and Simple Lock gonna do it. Oh my goodness, Old Dominion wins it. They win it 3-0 with only four lives lost. One, excuse me, three lives lost and one of them a TA in the third round of a control. Old Dominion may have lost a close search and destroy and hard point, but they absolutely own control. 19 non-traded kills for Simple Lot. Oh, wow. Incredible, ladies and gentlemen. We will be right back for more Call of Duty content. Brought to you by St. Clair as they try to take down Old Dominion for a real hard point. It's going to be a fun matchup. Don't you dare go anywhere.
and gentlemen, folks, this is a pivotal part of life. Coming into Rio, Sam Clair with a quick three stack on a P1 and the first blood. So they are getting things started off on the right foot. Factions with a solid two pieces, pieces and company pick up the rest. A solid start for St. Clair as they pick up right where they left off in search and destroy. They had a tough 3-0 loss in the control, but are out for blood in Rio. My name is Big Rich Axe, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, and I do hope you're enjoying tonight's entertainment as we get things underway. Old Dominion finally put some points on the board with this P1. A beautiful stick from Faction that is perfectly placed on the P2 as Poppy with the two-piece absolutely cooking Looking for some more on that P2, waiting for the rotations as Claire tries to clean up some scrap, but it's going to be simple lot to take it down. Uh, rare, unfortunately, going down there, but it's a three piece for St. Clair as they have free reign over P2 and are playing as aggressive as ever. Peace is holding on the van, but going down. Poppy with some beautiful movement, rotating up, doing a little parkour action as Factions goes down. The beautiful retake from Old Dominion. Rare is on the outside trying to stay alive. Poppy going down. Rare with a two-piece as Pieces picks up one. Rare, got to be careful here. Zay rotating right into Pieces as they continue to absolutely annihilate this Old Dominion squad. I don't know why they were struggling so much in their gunfights in control, but they are absolutely annihilating them thus far in hardpoint. Simplock got a nice two piece to hopefully slow some of that momentum down. As Simplot tries to hold just on the outside of this P3. It's going to go for Love now as Pieces tries to hold. Love's going to be able to get there first and take down Pieces. Rotating in from the 6 GMG. Clearing house at least momentarily as the rest of Old Dominion rotate in. Trying to get back in this matchup. Poppy going down to the nade. Factions has had two sticks this game thus far as Old Dominion tightens or gets closer to St. Clair's lead. Tightens the gap, I should say, between themselves and St. Clair now just by 10 points instead of 30. It's a lot more comfortable if you are Old Dominion. Love holding just on the outside of this point. Love with a nice two piece as GMG tries to hold but looks away at the last second. Call of Duty timing really getting to him. Factions holding here with pieces. They're gonna be able to get the rest of this crap. Although it looks like Old Dominion is still trying to get a few kills. Rare with an accidental taking down pieces with the headshot. At least it was quick. As St. Clair begins to rotate to P4. And he's still holding about a 26 point lead. Old Dominion still can't catch up ever since P1. Pieces with the two piece. Not be able to. High things back up, try to get something going. But St. Clair is just so good at their rotation and getting on to point. Rare protecting the flank as that is everyone on Old Dominion now having to rotate from Hot Dog Stand for that P2 area. Peace is holding on the outside. Young Zay rotating up right into Rare. Rare absolutely knocking them down as they just continue to line up right in this little divot. Perfectly placed for Rare. They continue to hold. Redding the needle, Rare with the headshot on the four streak, looking for some more. Absolutely crying right now as they prep for a P5, but that P4 was all St. Clair, it looked like. It's Old Dominion. Just needs to find their footing again. Again, it's bewildering to me how vastly different these teams are in terms of the scoreboard when compared to control and hard point. They're relatively similar game modes. You're just limited in your lives. And Old Dominion struggling thus far to secure points for any significant amount of time. St. Clair just knows this map and this mode better, it seems. Love going down. Quick trades happening in and around the objective as Simplot tries to prevent the push. But there's the three-piece. St. Clair taken over. Young Zay is left all alone waiting for backup as St. Clair gets back onto point. Trying to get into the 100-point club. GMG. And Pieces scoring some kills. Rare with the three. Simple lot. Last one close. But it's not really going to matter. St. Clair have this P5 locked down. Just like that. Simple lot going down. They're just trying to contest at this point. They're too clean with it. St. Clair getting ever closer to the 100 point gap. Rare just cooking in and around the objective. 
gonna let those few seconds of scrap waste away. GMG playing a little bit around Rosie, waiting for them to pop up, grabbing one, and waiting for back before pushing out. There's a quick two feet for St. Clair already. Poppy trying to push in. Poppy and Peace is going head to head, but it's simple lot rotating in around the corner to secure. But there's the three piece again for St. Clair. They continue winning these gunfights and engagements. That's the team wipe. Young's A able to get one, but it's not enough to clear. St. Clair just absolutely perfect with their rotations. Another TK for St. Clair, though, as GMG tosses the nade, taking down rare. We'll see if Old Dominion can break the hill as easily as St. Clair did, and it doesn't look like it. Love is in there, but factions with the two piece again. There's the 100 point club finally for St. Clair as we rotate to P2, this P1 going for the most part to St. Clair. Old Dominion has struggled to gain points since that uh, first P3, it seems. Factions with a, yet another two piece on the five streak, looking for the cruise missile now. As it is all St. Clair, ladies and gentlemen. Old Dominion trying to bounce back. Poppy getting slowed down. Zay trying to grab something, but grabbing nothing. Simple lot is there. Cannot get on to objective. Drop shots inbound. Pieces with yet another TK for St. Clair. But it doesn't seem to matter for them. They're up by 100 points. You can drop a couple of team kills, and it really won't make too much of a dent. Zay rotating in from on high. Factions coming in pieces with yet another two piece trying to stay alive on the hot dog stand. It does so for a little while, but GMG is there to clean things up. Poppy holding now as GMG is trying to get me. Holding on the outside. Poppy re -peak and now put GMG with the two piece, and it's another three piece for St. Clair. Not necessarily up by a hundred, but they have a very comfortable lead. They have the rotations. That I just really wondering how Old Dominion is going to win this one as GMG and company just wiped the entire Old Dominion squad off the face of the map. GMG just holding in mid as Old Dominion continues to throw bodies at Hill. St. Clair going to try to get to this double century mark. Shout out Rarity, by the way. As Love just waiting on the outside. Rare has the head glitch and they hit it 200 to 84. St. Clair just walking. Walking Old Dominion right now, and it's not looking good. Another three-piece for St. Clair. How many times have I said three-piece for St. Clair this game, this match alone? It's got to be too extensive. Love gets a nice jump shot, but it's immediately traded out by factions. Truly just perfectly placed, perfect timing from St. Clair as they get set up for P4 rare. Already taking down Poppy and getting set up in their spot. We saw them rack up a solid amount of kills right in that little cutout for the bike stop but love is able to get on to point first pieces though trading things out once again as old dominion struggles to maintain control of a point for just any amount of time they've only scored 20 points in like the last like three hills if my memory serves me right rare with the two piece looking for the three trying to find poppy rotating up they get the stun bada bing bada boom poppy going down st Clair needs just 20 points they can put it away with this one but they need to maintain just a little bit of control Old dominion showing some signs of life try to stay alive in this one pieces of gmg an absolutely nasty duo but simple lot says no caster that dynamic duo ain't gonna have it on this one as old dominion rotates off point early that was 10 seconds of scrap he left on the hill and there's another three-piece for St. Clair. Love able to break it up, but immediately going back down. And I think that's all she wrote. This P5 is locked down for St. Clair. Oh, man. This is just an absolutely insane game from St. Clair after they got annihilated in control. But they might have just play, been playing coy. They just set up for success. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 250. The 111. Absolutely insane from St. Clair College right there, ladies and gentlemen. Truly an impressive matchup. GMG dropping 33 kills to 16 deaths. A 2.0 plus KD. Absolutely melting this Old Dominion squad. And you can see that Old Dominion squad just a little upset as they leave early. Uh, one of the players left early, I believe. That is Poppy.
heading out to go grab some milk. I don't know when Poppy will be back, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, ladies and germs, thank you so much for tuning in, folks. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, my name is Big Rich X. I hope you enjoyed my commentary, and I hope you enjoyed St. Clair winning this one 3-1. Whole lot of three pieces, so maybe grab some chicken tendies for good luck after this one, St. Clair. Um, again, thank you so much for tuning in. Shout out to production. I really appreciate y'all. Key, thank you for doing what you do. I know we had some technical difficulties, but we got through it, ladies and gentlemen. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe, and of course, stay beautiful. We'll see you next time.